Hey guys, welcome uh, back to another video. For this one, I'm gonna be doing a very, well not very late, but kind of late unboxing of the uh, Jeffree Star Supreme Mystery Box for Halloween. Uh, Halloween already passed, but I got the box a bit late. Uh, so yeah, so what can I do? It's not like I can go back in time. But uh, that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. This is the first, uh, Jeffree Star mystery box that I buy and this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying his products as well maybe it wasn't a, such a good idea to buy the Halloween mystery box because uh, I'm guessing like that the products are gonna be Halloween themed like uh, products that I might not regularly use uh, or normally use so let's just see I just hope that a few of the items I can actually use and others, if they're not really wearable, I can leave them for next Halloween and use them there for like a costume or something. And I also bought uh, two of the Halloween mystery treats. They were like six dollars um, for like you don't you don't get to pick what uh, they give you. It's just like you say, okay, so you pay six dollars for a mystery treat and they send you whatever they want and I have them here and the box I got the supreme and it retails for or it retailed for a hundred and twenty dollars yeah okay so it comes with a lot of stuff okay so the first thing that I see are these like pins like sorry I was showing you the other side of these pins I've never I'm not really a fan of pins so yeah, so for me this is like a lost product because I have no idea how can I use this like I'm not gonna put them in my clothes or anything so So this is the first item and this is the velvet trap and is in the shade Red Affair and it's a lipstick and let's open this so it's a bullet lipstick and the shade, well it said red, so I'm guessing, okay this is a beautiful red then we have another velvet uh, trap lipstick but this is in the shade uh, communion wine so I'm guessing like maybe the color of the letters is the color of the lipstick and we have another bullet lipstick and this is this is a gorgeous, like wine, very deep wine uh, shade. Next, I see these. Okay, so this was like definitely like for Halloween, this like all the Halloween vibes. So we have Coffee Blood, we have Pumpkin Fantasy, and Halloween Orgy. And these are the Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick. And yeah, like as you can see the shades are like definitely for Halloween so we have like a black coffee blood or maybe it's not black but it's like a very very deep uh, burgundy probably could check yeah it looks like it's black but it's not black it's like I don't know like like a very very deep purple then we have like a shimmery purple as well like a metallic I would say yeah, this is a metallic purple so I would say like these are perfect for costumes uh, then we have uh, these are the velour liquid lipsticks like this is uh, the mini velour liquid lipstick as well but these are in the shade uh, Halloween nudity So now we have like the opposite to the previous one so we have like the very nude uh, liquid lipsticks and this shade is beautiful as well I don't know if this is for my skin tone it might look like too well I think it's actually a good color but yeah it is a good shade I don't think it's gonna look that bad on my skin tone 
it might because my lips might look like uh, like I'm sick or something but I think it's a good shade then we have the another mini velour liquid lipstick in the malicious kisses so I'm guessing this is just like a plain black liquid lipstick or not it has like I don't know I think this is another metallic one so it's like black but with gold this is very beautiful it's not like an everyday um, type of makeup thing but it's very beautiful like it's black with gold then we have a lot of eyeshadows like like mini or like not mini like these are like the single that's it single eyeshadows uh, so yeah we have a lot of them so the first one is only child we have only child we have weirdo we have open range we have casper mtm we have 1985 we have tongue pop a cavity so we have eight eyeshadow singles or single eyeshadows and I don't know some of them look very very pretty I think we have like a variety so we have very dark ones and we also have a few like more neutral ones then I see this skin frost uh, highlighting blush so we have a blush and I think this was this is says icy execution and I think this was like the um, not limited edition but it, it was like the box exclusive and it's just like that I've heard good things about uh, the skin frost so yeah I really want to try this this is beautiful like you can see it looks like it's splatter like with blood maybe not blood I think it's supposed to be like blood but it's obviously not I'm only gonna take a bit of the highlighting part to see how it looks and how pigmented it is okay this is beautiful it looks beautiful and now we have the skin first highlighter palette so we have the highlining blush and now we have a highlighter palette uh, so and the shades are like this so I'm guessing uh, I'm gonna be able to use this one as a highlighter and maybe this one as a blush this one as well as a blush and this one maybe as a, an eyeshadow I don't know uh, that's like rose gold is too dark for to look like a highlighter for me but i i can use these three as eyeshadows uh, this one as a blush blush eyeshadow three and this one as a highlighter okay so i already see the eyeshadow palette but i'm gonna take the other things first and we also have this which is the f proof and is I'm guessing this is a mascara so it's the banana fetish is this like a color mascara like a uh, yellow mascara is it because it it is that's awesome like, it would be pretty oh in the packaging I have to say like the packaging is 10 out of 10 like I've never would have thought about doing a mascara like this and let's just see it's actually yellow is it I don't know I can tell if it is it is yes it is a yellow mascara okay that's pretty cool I've never had like a color mascara before so I've always wanted one but I've never got one so now I have one and yeah that's pretty awesome I'm very like this is really out of my comfort zone but I really really like it like for um to I don't know I'm thinking about what 
kind of makeup I could do with this one but this is awesome then we have the liquid star shadow and this is in the shade nude honeymoon I think and let's just see so this is a liquid shadow and this shade is like a very very neutral nude type of shade so I would say it's like a brownish beige like shade yeah like a brownish shade yeah this is very neutral like to wear as a base for other uh, eyeshadows yeah it's just like a brownish a very light brownish type of shade and now we have two more products left before the eyeshadow palette and I see that there is another box uh, which I'm guessing is like the mirror and we have a Jeffree Star skin so this is the Wyoming winter lip oil so we have a lip oil okay this looks pretty pretty nice and this is a lip oil it doesn't really have any scent which is good yeah it doesn't smell like anything and we also got the eye gloss powder in the shade voyeurism which is this box and we have okay so this is the powder like okay, so it's like that it doesn't really look like a powder like it's not a loose powder so it's like a pressed powder and let's see okay that's Yeah, it's a beautiful color, but it's just like brown, like a neutral color. And now for the eyeshadow palette, we have the cremated eyeshadow palette. Uh, I've seen this before. I know that it's like mainly uh, gray eyeshadows. So it's definitely not the most wearable eyeshadow like to everyday uh, looks. But... I think it's pretty like, I still think you can make a very good like very beautiful eye looks with it because uh, you still have like a, a few neutrals here and maybe like for a night out as well you can do like smoky eyeshadows and things like eyeshadow looks and things like that so yeah uh, this I have to be honest it wouldn't be like an eyeshadow palette that I would have bought on my own so that's like the fun of getting these mystery boxes you don't really know what you're gonna get and you get to try new things and get out of your comfort zone with a few so I would say that if you're not really into uh, getting out of your comfort zone when it comes to makeup mystery boxes like themed mystery boxes especially the Halloween ones uh, are not for you like I wouldn't recommend them because you're gonna get these type of products that are made for you to try new things so if you're not open to that then yes I would stick with the regular themes maybe like um, summer theme boxes or like uh, the regular just everyday boxes but not the Halloween one and for the last item we have a mirror so and since it's halloween theme this looks like a butcher's knife okay this is like really sorry i was checking myself in the mirror and i don't know the, the mirror is kind of weird like i don't know like i don't know if it has like a protective feel or not if I use this one, it's just like normal, but if I use this one, I don't know, it's just feel, it, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, so it's just like a butcher's knife. So yeah, that's everything that I got on the mystery box. Uh, now I'm going to show you the uh, Halloween mystery tree. So I paid for two, like I paid uh, $12, so I bought two. And I got three lipsticks. So I got the Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit which is like a very nudie like uh, shade 
I also got like a velvet trapped lipstick in the shade Jawbreaker. Okay, this is like a very light blue. This is definitely a shade that I wouldn't know how to wear, but like, yeah, this is like something to really, yeah, yeah, like I would have to think how I can wear this. And I also got the mini Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bricked Up. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I would say that this is my favorite one of all the liquid lipsticks that I got. So those are the three uh, Halloween trim mystery treats that I got. So okay, I think that for all the things that I've got, like this is definitely a good value. $120 for all of these, like it's a very good value. I wouldn't recommend it though if you don't like to go out of your comfort zone like I said because especially the Halloween theme boxes, uh, they're made for you to get out of that zone like to try new makeup things like new colors, new shades, like new things that you wouldn't normally use so yeah, that's, I'm happy with that because I do like that like I wouldn't normally buy a few of these items by themselves so cutting them in this box it's gonna help me to try new uh, makeup styles which is a good thing at least for me but like I said like I I wouldn't recommend it if you don't like that maybe stay with the regular not themed uh, mystery boxes I know that some people think that in mystery boxes you get all the items that they can sell but even if that's true sometimes it's a good deal because this would be more than $120 so you're buying it already knowing that you might get things that you don't really are gonna use so it's like that's why it's a mystery box so you should know that if you're buying a mystery box you might not like a few things so if you're not really into that then you shouldn't just buy a mystery box but that's it. So this, I'm really excited to try these products, like the eyeshadows, to make some eyeshadow looks and all of that. With these uh, products, because like I said, it's the first time that I'm gonna be actually trying Jeffree Star products, like eyeshadows and things. I've heard good things about them, like they're very good quality and all. So yeah, I'm excited to try them and see what I can create with all of this. And if you actually wanna know, like not know, but if you actually wanna see or like you would like me to make a video creating different styles with these products just let me know i would more than glad to do that uh but yeah so that's it for today's video and see you on the next one bye bye